This video is for students and teachers who want to create animated educational videos for learning purposes. I will show you how to recreate the following video. Today we are going to see about the human respiratory system. A vehicle needs fuel to move. Similarly, we need oxygen to function. All the cells in our body need oxygen to create energy. But how does the oxygen reach the cells? Through the process of respiration. When you breathe in, the air passes through the nostrils and travels through the trachea, also known as the windpipe, then it travels into smaller branches of the trachea called bronchioles and reaches the lungs. From here the oxygen gets diffused into the blood and reaches the different parts of the body. Before we begin, a gentle reminder, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. With that out of the way, let's begin. Use the link in the description and visit the website of Animaker. Click on the create option on the center and sign up for a new account. You'll be redirected to the dashboard page. Here select the create option on the left followed by selecting create a video and blank page. A new project will open. On the center is the workspace. On the right hand side is the scenes section. Scenes are similar to what you call slides in a presentation as the several slides come in to form a presentation. Several scenes come in to form a video. On the bottom is the timeline. Within timeline, we have three different timelines starting from the animation timeline. Then we have the video and audio timeline. And finally, we have the camera timeline. On the left hand side is the library, which consists of all the animated characters, properties, images, videos, and music tracks that we'll require to create this video. Let's start with adding an animated character to the scene. Select a character from the library. We can also create a custom character using this create your own option under the my Characters section. We have already made a detailed video on this. I'm adding the video link in the description. For this video, I'll be using a character that is already present in the library. Once you add a character to the scene, on the right hand side, you can notice the actions tab. There are more than 500 different actions that can be applied to the character. I'm going to select this one where the character is talking. Let's add some color to the background. Click anywhere over the workspace and you can notice a new color palette opening on the timeline. Click on the edit option to change the color. You can also add multiple colors using the plus icon over here. If you click on the option over here, it will control the direction of the colors. Let's add a title to the video. Open the text section in the library and click on one of the text boxes. Now type in the text. On the right hand side, you can notice the settings tab under which you can find all the options that you will need to customize the text. On the timeline, you can notice a purple colored bar. It represents the duration for which the text is going to be visible. I want the text to appear a little later. So I'm going to select and drag the left edge of the bar towards the right. According to the current position of the bar, the text will appear after the first two seconds. On the bottom of the settings tab, you can notice a couple of options named enter effect and exit effect. These options let you add animation effects to the elements. Let's add an entry animation effect to the text. You can adjust the duration of the animation effect by adjusting the length of this pink bar. I also want to add a property that represents the title. So I'm selecting the property section and searching for the word lungs. I'm adjusting its duration in the timeline and adding an animation effect to it. Right now you can see the duration of the scene is 10 seconds, but I want it to be 5 seconds. To increase or decrease the duration of a scene, use these plus and minus options over here on the timeline. Click on the play icon above the timeline to have a preview of the current scene. I want to add a voiceover to this character. To add voiceover, click on the character and you can notice a bunch of options appearing along with the character. This is called the item menu. Within the item menu, you have an option called add voiceover. Click on it. You will get three more options. The record voice option allows you to directly record your voice. Click on the blue colored option and record your voice and add it to the character. The upload option allows you to add pre-recorded audio as a voiceover to the character. 
For this video, I want to use the second option that is the text to speech option. I'm going to copy the text that I want as audio and I'm just going to paste it over here. Select the gender, language and choose among the different voice options. You can change the speed, pitch and the volume to make it sound more natural. Today we are going to see about the human respiratory system. You can also add break and breath effects between the words. If you are a paid user, you can use the auto enhance option. Today we are going to see about the human respiratory system. Once you are fine with the audio, select the sync option. The voiceover is added to the character. Let's have a preview. Today we are going to see about the human respiratory system. Let's create the next scene. Go to the scene section on the right hand side and click on the add scene option. Let's start with adding the voiceover to the scene so that we can create the visuals accordingly. In the previous scene, we saw how to add a voiceover to a character in the video. In this scene, we will be adding it over the video similar to how it is done on documentary movies. Switch to the video and audio timeline and select the add voiceover option over here. Now select the design method. For this video, I'll be using only the text to speech option. Copy the text from the script and paste it over here. Reduce the scene's duration to 7 seconds to match the duration of the audio. A vehicle needs fuel to move. Similarly, we need oxygen to function. Let's create the visual that matches the audio. When the audio mentions the word fuel, I want to show a person riding a vehicle. And when it talks about oxygen, I want to show someone doing a physical activity. Select a character from the library and choose an action in which the character is riding a vehicle. I want this character to enter from the left and exit to the right. So I am selecting the animation effects accordingly. Around the time the first character leaves the scene, I want to bring in the second character. I want to choose a kid character, let me select an action in which he is playing. I am applying the animation effect. I want to add text while each of these characters appears on the scene. I am applying the animation effects. A vehicle needs the fuel to move. Similarly, we need oxygen to function. Let's see how to add some flow to the text. Select the text. On the item menu of the text, you can notice an option named Effects. Click on it. On the right hand side, you can notice a set of effects. Select the option named as Neon. Apply the same effect to the second text also. A vehicle needs the fuel to move. Similarly, we need oxygen to function. That's it, we have completed the scene number 2. Go to the scene section, add a new scene and add the voiceover using the text to speech option and adjust the scene's duration. All the cells in our body need oxygen to create energy. But how does the oxygen reach the cells? In this scene, we are going to show oxygen molecules reaching the human body to match the audio. First, we will add the human body to the scene and then we will animate the oxygen molecules. Go to the properties section of the library and search for the word human body. The molecular structure of oxygen exactly looks like a dumbbell. 
so we are going to make use of a dumbbell to represent the oxygen molecules. I want this molecule structure to enter the scene from different directions and reach the body. We can use the smart move option for these kind of custom animations. Go to the item menu of the property and you can find the smart move option. Click on it. Now on the timeline you can notice two thumbs. Consider them as points A and B between which the molecule moves. You can add multiple points but I just need two points for this animation. Adjust the distance between the thumbs to control the duration of the animation. Now I want several of these molecules coming from different directions. Copy the current molecule by pressing Ctrl C or Command C in case of Mac and paste it again using the keys Command V or Ctrl V. On the workspace, use the rotate option and place it in a different direction and different position. Repeat this process and add multiple molecules entering the scene from different directions. Also, adjust the position in the timeline to make sure the molecules enter the scene at slightly different timing. Let's have a preview. All the cells in our body need oxygen to create energy. But how does the oxygen reach the cells? You can see that the oxygen molecules are above the human body and it doesn't look good. To fix it, select the human body and go to the bottom of this settings tab and here you can find an option called arrangements within the arrangements select the option bring to first it makes sure the body is above all the other elements present within the scene let's have a preview all the cells in our body need oxygen to create energy but how does the oxygen reach the cells so that is how you can animate properties inside animaker Add new scene, add the voiceover and reduce the extra duration in the scene. The visual for this scene is simple. I just want to show a guy breathing. Go to the character section of the library and select a character. Now go to the actions tab and find the breathing action. I want to show only the face of the character. So I'm increasing the character size and placing it in the center. Through the process of respiration, when you breathe in, the air passes through the nostrils. Let's move on to the next scene. Add new scene, add the voiceover. And travels through the trachea, also known as the windpipe. Then it travels into smaller branches of the trachea called bronchioles and reaches the lungs. For this scene, I want to show the molecules moving through the lungs. Let's add the lungs from the properties section. Now we will use the smart move option and make the oxygen molecule move through the lungs. Last time we saw how to move an object between two points. This time we will see how to move it through more than two points. Select the smart move option. From here, I want the molecule to move inside the lungs. For that, go to the timeline and move the playhead on the timeline and click on the plus option above it. Now adjust the position on the workspace. As you can see, the molecule moves in a straight path whereas the path in the lungs looks a bit curved. Let's fix it. The dotted lines represent the path in which they travel. If you keep the pointer over it, the pointer changes into a glove. Now you can click and drag the path to change it to a curved one. Let me apply an exit animation effect for this molecule. In the same way, let's add one more molecule for the right hand side. I'm just going to copy and paste the current molecule and change the position of the third point. Let's highlight the different parts of the lungs using the arrows and the text. Go to the properties section and add an arrow.
add enter and exit animation effects to the arrow. Now add a text box and mention the name of that part. In the same way, I'm going to highlight one more part within the lungs. Let's have a preview of this scene. And travels through the trachea also known as the windpipe, then it travels into smaller branches of the trachea called bronchioles and reaches the lungs. Again, I'm going to add the next scene, adding the voiceover and adjusting the duration. This scene talks about how oxygen reaches different parts of the body from the lungs through the blood vessels. To visually represent this, place the lungs and surround it with different organs. For this, we are going to use the properties section. Now to show the blood vessels, go to the property section and search for the word creepers. Select a creeper and change its color to the shades of red using the option over here. Now place it between the lungs and one of the organs in the scene. Apply the wipe animation effect based on the direction in which the organ is placed. For the organs placed on the left side, select the animation effect wipe from right. For the organs placed on the right, select the animation effect wipe from left. These animation effects will make the blood vessels look like they are moving from the lungs toward the other organs. Also make sure the lungs and the other organs are placed above the blood vessels. You can do this by using the arrangements option present at the bottom of the settings tab. Click on the preview option. From here the oxygen gets diffused into the blood and reaches the different parts of the body. Let's add transition effect between the scenes. Go to the scene section and click on the option between two scenes. Now select the transition effect that you want. To add a music track, go to the music section in the library and search for a music track. There are more than 30,000 copyright free music tracks that you can use. Keep the pointer over a track to have a preview of the track. Click on a track to apply it to the video. Now go to the timeline and select the audio track and you can find a set of options. Reduce the volume of the track to make sure that it doesn't affect the voiceover tracks that we added earlier. To have a preview of all the scenes together, use the preview option at the top. Today we are going to see about the human respiratory system. A vehicle needs fuel to move. Similarly, we need oxygen to function. All the cells in our body need oxygen to create energy. But how does the oxygen reach the cells? Through the process of respiration. When you breathe in, the air passes through the nostrils and travels through the trachea, also known as the windpipe, then it travels into smaller branches of the trachea called bronchioles and reaches the lungs. From here the oxygen gets diffused into the blood and reaches the different parts of the body. To download the video, click on the publish option, followed by selecting the download video option and then download. You will be redirected to a download page once your video is ready. Now you know how to create an animated educational video by yourself.
So what are you waiting for? Create an animated video and amaze your class.